hello hello my friend uh, welcome back welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching my video uh, my name is Judith and on this channel I share my journey to a more intentional and I would say more actionable uh, lifestyle and I discuss anything that you know uh, help me get to my goal of financial independence as well as sharing my passion for real estate real estate investing home design and home decor so welcome welcome please like and subscribe if you like the content i'm sharing over here so today i just decided to come on here and share uh, a little bit of how i kind of found my gift how did i come to understand what my gift is so I don't know about you, but uh, my prayer has always been, I've always asked God, as, for, as long as I, I can remember, I've always asked God, what is my purpose? What is my gift? What, you know, why, why am, I, am I on this earth for? And I never got a clear response. I, I thought I didn't hear a clear response, but not too long ago, I got like that. I had like a, an eureka moment, really, basically I had an eureka moment because I just figured it out, really, you know, I guess God had answered my prayer, but I just didn't know how to decipher the messages I was getting. So how did I come to understand what my gift was? Basically, um, I just followed the clues. I just... Uh, follow the clues and try to, uh, I wasn't trying to understand what my gift was. I just, it just resonated with me that day, basically. This conversation with my friend and my best friend, she just said, I was telling my friend, I'm going to move, I'm going to move to Texas. And they were like, oh, you're joking. We're just together the other day playing, you know, doing things around. How are you going to move? No, you're not moving. How is that possible? And my 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 best friend turned around and and she told every she told all my other friends that were there. She said, "If Judy says she would do it, she would do it." And I was like, "Huh?" She said, "If Judy says she would do it, she would do it." I was like, "Okay, <laughs> uh, it's true. I'm gonna do it." But it just that's how it just rang a bell in my spirit because. I just remember how basically I'm always the one trying to push to take action. I'm always like I get bored so easy. And if there's nothing for me to do, I just get I get bored. So I'm always trying to look at the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm always on the <laughs> on the go trying to do something new. And my best friend she understood that a lot more than any anybody else because she she I get to do a lot of things with her. And discuss a lot of my uh, plans and vision with her so she um, she knows me really good and uh, I just understood that your gift might not be uh, like a talent or something specific you can put your finger on and that will uh, it will translate into uh, something actionable or something uh, tangible but no, nevertheless, it is your gift. Like I, I understood that, yes, this is what I am, who I am. I am really somebody who likes to take chances. I like to take risk. I am very resourceful. And when I find myself in a situation, I'm always like trying to, you know, to make people do stuff, basically. So what does that mean, basically? You're resourceful, you are... Um, you, you, you take you are very actionable I don't know if that's the word actually but what it doesn't translate into something specific like somebody will say oh my gift is playing tennis my gift is playing the piano I'm an artist I'm anything like that so if like me you have struggled to understand what your gift is sometimes it's not that tangible <laughs> but now it makes sense to me you know, it makes sense to me because I can be all over the place. I am. I feel like whenever I put my mind to do something, I can do it. So that has always been an advantage, but at the same time, a a disadvantage because that made me kind of not understand 
what I was good at because I felt like, but I can do anything I want to do if I put my mind to it. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point is you can put your mind to do stuff. And then when you put your mind, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just made sense. It just resonated with me. Basically, I came to understand, that, oh, that's not your gift. You're resourceful like that. Like people come to me when they need to be pushed a little bit, you know, when they need, sometimes they, they, they need one of my friends, they come to me when they need that push. When they want to do something, but they need somebody to push them over the edge, like, just do it. And I am kind of like that. I go for it. And really, I don't regret. Like, if I do anything and I fail at it, I always say there is nothing like failure. It's always feedback. I learn from it and I move on. I'm only on something and it comes out to be a bad decision. I say, I just think, lesson learned, move on to the next thing. Really, I try is I don't regret learning, move on to the next thing. Really, I try is I don't regret learning the decision I make because I really, really don't like the statue quo. I really don't like the statue quo. So your gift might be just like mine, something that is not tangible, something that is not actionable, but nevertheless, you have something specific that that that, that makes you who you are, that makes you... Uh, makes your character or your personality come true and like the bible says your gift will make way for you before men it can be like me that your gift will open doors for you so i am sure just like me god has already showed you god god has already showed you or spoken to you about what your gift is maybe not directly or maybe through some people around you so just pay attention to the clues and listen to the people around you, the people that love you, the people you spend the most time with. Listen to what they say about you and that will guide you to understand what your gift is. So I started to pick up on those uh, messages that have been passed to me, but it just didn't make sense because it wasn't something specific or something actionable. You know, so listen to the clues around you. Maybe that will help you also understand what your gift are. is. What people are telling you all the time. Oh, you just help me calm down. Or you just help me uh, just sit down and, and think about things before I, I do something. It's just, you just make me want to be better. Things like that. So those are just la la the language that people around you might be using. And the, the, the language is pointing to your gift, you know, pay attention to those to that language. Like, I was like, I was thinking, okay, I'm resourceful, what does that mean? You know, I'm resourceful doesn't mean that I create a situation I'm going to be resourceful in. So I want to be able to create a situation. So, but it's, it's not that. So you just understand that whatever that gift is, you can use it. It's going to, as long as you put yourself in, that, in a situation, you, you should be able to use it and you should be able to open doors for you. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be a genius on the piano, you don't have to be a, a genius like a Federer of Serena, a playing tennis, you know, but like somebody who is good at an instrument or that can just take that instrument and do something with it. But knowing my gift makes me a lot more comfortable in some of the decisions that I take. So I would say, like, you might know already what your gift is. Listen to what people are saying to you all the time. Like, listen to the little clues. Like, all of those little things, you just you put it together and that define, those are the things that define you. Those are the things that stand out when you interact with people. I'm still praying for clarity for God to show me and show me ways I can use my gift, you know, and even to understand myself a little bit better, I'm still praying for that clarity, I'm still praying for understanding, but I feel a lot better now, I, I feel a lot more comfortable understanding that that's what shapes me, really, yeah, so that's what, yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you today, uh, just came here in the middle of the night and said let me share that maybe somebody might be trying to figure out 
what is their gift, you know. So just like me, listen to the clues around you. People have been telling you for the longest time, this is what you need, how you make me feel, this is what you do, or you always like to do this and these things. Those are the things that point you to understand what your gift is. So I hope you understand what your gift is. So until next time, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and let's grow together.